Mr. Keith Hamilton, it's so lovely to meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? I, I went to Mercer County Community College, got my associate's degree. While I was there, I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship with Bell Laboratories. They hired me, um, brought me on, started off as a lab tech. I continued my education and um, ended up becoming a uh, electrical engineer, member of technical staff for Bell Labs. Wow. So we designed several different telephones and other things. Uh, the first thing I designed was a piece of test equipment to test to make sure that the phones were doing what they were supposed to do. Um, wow. Then after that, I did telephones, and um, my last project uh, with that group was uh, doing install scripts for different applications, software applications we were doing for uh, the, uh, the um, PC-type computers. Wow! Um, while I was there, I became I was interested in in education. I was a board member on the Hamilton Township Board of Education for three years. Uh, after that, uh, I became a freeholder in Mercer County. I was that, in that position for 15 years. Um, and then in 2010, I ran for uh, mayor of the city of Trenton. Unfortunately, I didn't make it, but hey, you know, life is good, life continues on. So uh, that's where I um, am at now. I am working with a few candidates from time to time uh, to help try and help them get elected. Wow. Uh, what I'm doing now, as you know, is I'm doing some uh, development around the city and the different projects that, that you and Victor are looking at also, which I find quite exciting, quite interesting, uh, because you. we need a nice, good, fresh shot in the arm. Uh, and I'm glad to see that there are some, some folks other than myself uh, who are outside the city who want to bring some things into the city to help the city grow, which we all know we need desperately. And with the projects that you guys are looking at, I'm figuring we should be able to hire at least 20, 25 people, which will be very, very good. Very exciting and very, it should be amazing for our community to, you know, give back in whatever way we can, right? Exactly. And that's the first step where we can start and being part of a community and giving back is by employing the people who actually live there, who want to work. Right, and then we, and then you know, then we keep the money in the community so that it's not all going outside. It stays in the community. We're able to continue and uh, our uh, growth process um, because with more people working, uh, that's more income for the city. More income from the city means you can invest in doing some other things uh, to help grow even more. So it becomes a, a uh, cyclical process and, and, and an upward spiral if we do it the right way. Hopefully a, a positive domino effect, correct? Po absolutely. That's what we're all absolutely. hoping for. Yep. Now we were discussing before something that was very interesting. Um, I had mentioned about a gentleman who we interviewed a few weeks ago mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who was looking for employment and unfortunately the city of Trenton is not responding positively towards him because he's got a record. But mm -hmm. then as I mentioned that, you also mentioned that um, part of your part of what you do is that you employ. Well, I work with a group called A Better Way from time to time. Uh, they're a, a re-entry group. They focus on re-entry for those gentlemen and ladies who have previously been incarcerated, and they're working with them to try and get them uh, stable income, stable jobs, stable uh, uh, living situations. And so part of what they do is they volunteer some of their time and then they get paid for some of their time. So it's a, it's a program of a, of a private public partnership really that they have going. And um, for the particular gentleman you're talking about, uh, I will be reaching out to the uh, CEO of that organization when I get back into my office today. That is so, that is so very much you know appreciate it I mean th this is all like I feel we're doing little by little putting our grain of salt and everyone seems to be responding on a positive really positive level and that's what we want to see I asked you if you were if you were born in Trenton yeah I went to the elementary schools I was at Stoke School uh, junior three uh, Trenton Central High School I uh, graduated from there um, then I went to the service Spent some time there, came back, 
uh, spent a few years in Hamilton where I raised my children, uh, then moved back into Trenton. So uh, I've, been, I've been in this general area for 60 two plus years. Wow. Well, you look phenomenal. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hamilton. Absolutely. So let me ask you something. Since you know Trenton, like the back of your hand, mm -hmm. what is your favorite part of Trenton? Hey there, young lady. How you doing? Good to see you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our community leaders, Amini Sababu. Oh. Oh, okay. What was her name? Amini Sababu. Amini Sababu. Okay, that was you nice. I want to get an interview with her also. She started a, I'd love uh, to. a garden out in West Trenton on um, there's a prospect in Bellevue Avenue. Yeah. Oh, I think I know where that is. It's by the public library? Behind, down the street. Or down, the down the street. street I know exactly yeah. where it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they maintain it. They really yes, do they take do. care of it. They do. If you can make that happen, that would be would wonderful. What's your vision? What do you foresee for Trenton in the next, let's say, four years? What are your visions? Well, some of my visions are uh, to help grow the downtown area of the city of Trenton. If we can um, get more folks, more uh, people walking and living downtown uh, and also working downtown, one of the things that I'm hopeful in, in one of the projects that we've talked about earlier today is to have a place, you know, a, a grocery store inside the city of Trenton, another grocery store, but on more on the west side. Um, like a market? Like a market. And, nice. Uh, that would be good. Uh, some, some recreational space, as you guys are talking about doing. All those things are going to be very good for the city because one of the things we also need to do is get people to coming out into the city. We need people to spend time in the city. Um, you know, right now we have about 35,000 people to come into the city of Trenton every day. Um, they come in at 7:30 in the morning and they leave at 5:30 in the evening. Sad. And there's no, there's no secondary spending. There's no secondary lifestyle in the city of Trenton. One of the things I would like to help do, um, particularly with the college downtown is to work with some of the other educational institutions throughout the state like Ryder, like the College of New Jersey, like um, Rutgers University, and have them uh, have classes so that people who, let's say, do work for the state, who do live you know, outside of the city, it would be easy for them to leave their state office, go down the street to Mercer County Community College where they would be taking their Rutgers University classes simple they don't have to leave early to go to work so they can get out and get to their other campus they can just come right downtown uh, and that's a fantastic idea by the so, way so that's one of the things that I would like to see happen uh, in, the, in the downtown area mr. Hamilton I have a question quest for it <laughs> thank you we know that you ran for mayor of Trenton a few years ago mm -hmm. let's say you had the opportunity to be a mayor in the next few years what would you do for Trenton? I, I'm just curious to hear mm -hmm. from you, for someone so, so passionate. So one of the things that I had talked about and I passed it on to the, the, the subsequent winner that year was to uh, work with the city of Philadelphia. They have a big tourist industry for old Philadelphia where the Declaration of Independence and all those things were signed and, and a lot of the revolutionary stuff was began in that space. Um, and and I, I actually had a conversation with the former mayor, um, Nutter, at the time and talked about, you know, maybe doing a, a, a synergy, synergizing by having, just as an example, uh, over at Penn's Landing, have a ferry, taxi, whatever you want to call it, come across up the river, drop them off at our stadium in Trenton, where it's, you know, navigable, have a bus there or a trolley. And then we go visit the historical sites here in the city of Trenton. You know, you've got the Battle of Monument, the Battle Monument. Uh, you have the Trenton Battlefield, which is very historic. You have the Trent House, which is another historic uh, site that that's open to the public. So those are some of the things that I talked about doing um, with the city of Philadelphia. And Mayor Nutter was interested. I was interested, but unfortunately, without me being there, <laughs> it never it never happened. But again, it's something that could still happen. Um, Let's make it happen. You know, well, with what you guys are helping <laughs> to do, maybe we can get it. Bigger. I think we can. We can follow your footsteps, and we 
I, maybe someone else didn't take the opportunity to appreciate the brilliant ideas and creative ideas that you had. Um, we certainly do, and, and we, we would love to follow your footsteps and, and put some of your ideas to work. We can do this together. I know we can. Sounds like a plan to me. Well, Mr. Keith Hamilton, <laughs> yes. thank you so much for My your pleasure. time. We really My appreciate pleasure. it. I'm we'll sure be seeing will. you around more. You will. Yes. Thank okay. you so much for thank your you. time. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.